Hi everybody, welcome back to my ever so useful little training area up at Northeast Airfield and in today's video I want to talk about something else that beginners, new players to DayZ might not be aware of and that is the different ways that you can bandage and heal your cut. So you know when you get into a fight uh, with a zombie or maybe you weren't wearing some shoes or perhaps you got shot by a bullet and you start bleeding. So in the bottom right hand corner you'll see the bleeding icon. You'll probably know about bandages. And the good thing about bandages, if you find these, these are normally disinfected, as you can see. It's disinfected, so it's safe to use. You won't give yourself blood poisoning. And you probably even know about rags. Now rags you've got to be a little bit more careful with. Because if you use them and you haven't disinfected them, there is a chance you'll get a type of um, blood poisoning. Which ultimately will lead to your death unless you can get some tetracycline. Uh, antibiotics from a hospital or clinic but obviously it's better to die of that in the future than die of blood loss um, you may even know about alcoholic tincture and um, iodine tincture which you can use to combine with things like bandages and more importantly rags to make them disinfected so that you can make them safe to use However, what you might not be aware of is there is another thing you can use that you might have on you to heal your wounds, and that is the sewing kit. People forget about this one so often. Now, when you find sewing kits, there's no way that they're going to be disinfected. So make sure you've got some iodine tincture or some alcohol, um, and then what you can do is you can combine the two together and you can disinfect the sewing kit and then just like Rambo see that now it's disinfected you can actually sew up your wounds rather than use a bandage or a rag how cool is that now an extra little tip we'll add at the add on the end as well is that if you happen to use a rag or a bandage or even a sewing kit that isn't disinfected so you know you just you just didn't have any alcoholic tincture on you or some iodine tincture on you remember that for a few minutes afterwards if you do find some iodine or some alcoholic tincture the game will give you the option let's just put that there if you have some um, alcoholic tincture on your on your hands it will give you the option to treat your wound. Even though you're not bleeding anymore, you'll be able to treat it with alcoholic tincture. Now, if you can't, that means it's gone too far, um, your potential blood poisoning. And what you've then got to do is you've got to find some tetracycline antibiotics. Um, otherwise, you will absolutely, absolutely die. So there we go. If you get a cut, if you get a wound for whatever reason, don't forget that the sewing kit is absolutely a valid way of healing your wounds okay so there we go hopefully you found this useful if you have hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and i will of course see you again soon